Hello, welcome back to another film review. Now, I'm going to try and speak up a little bit louder in this video because I did get a comment saying it just wants me to speak up a bit, which I can kind of understand. Obviously, I don't have any sort of microphone or anything to enhance my voice, but I will try and speak louder so you don't have to turn up the volume to hear me on your computers. But as you can tell by today's title, we're going to be talking about The Simpsons Movie on the big screen. Now I do have a DVD copy of this. I don't have a DVD player, but this is one of my few DVD memories that I've kept just for ages. I remember I got this, it was actually my, me and my dad and my brother were in a blockbuster. I don't know how many people remember blockbuster, but we were there. Um, and I think I saw it on one of like the reduced section. I, I can't remember what year this was, for like a fiver. So I said to my dad, can you get this? And then yeah, he bought, he bought it for me. So I think that's when I did have a DVD player at the time and then I got home and like, put it in the DVD player straight away I'll show you, that's cool, home out of there you can see what the back looks like if you've never seen anything like this before now this movie does have a 7.3 out of 10 on IMDB and an 88% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 4.6 out of 5 from Amazon.co.uk oh there's the donut and then there's you've got like a or, I don't know what this is, I haven't opened a copy of the Springfield Shopper in this DVD collection and you have the Simpsons game which was available at the time. I'm honestly hoping they remake it, if they do that would be amazing. This came out, how many seasons were there? This was 1 to 10, so I think this came out during, probably just after the 10th season, I can't remember and I can't be too sure but I've kept this in decent condition to be fair but let's talk to you about the film now shall we I'll keep it up here so you can sort of see it so what is it essentially well the, the best way for me to describe it is I would say if you've only watched any Simpsons episode it's basically just a longer Simpsons episode it's about an hour and a half yeah about an hour 28 uh, version of the movie obviously everyone knows Matt Groening did, is the creator of The Simpsons, it's been on Fox for, it was on Fox for ages, it came out uh, July 25th in the UK, the director was David Silverman, and the main featured song was Spider Pig, so I'm facing most of you should know what Spider Pig is. Um, on box office it grossed 536.4 million US dollars, which is good because the budget was only 75. A uh, million dollars. So, you know, you know, pretty good. Uh, now, I'm just going to tell you about the story. I don't need to use the internet for this one. Basically, it takes place, it starts off with Homer and the rest of the gang watching an itchy and scratchy movie on in the cinema. And that's how it essentially starts. And Homer basically says, I can't believe we paid to see something that we get on TV for free and he said if you ask me everyone in this theatre is a giant sucker especially you and he just points directly at the audience I just thought that was an amazing intro when he saw it he just insulted the people who paid to watch the film in 2007 imagine paying it to watch a film in 2007 and being insulted it's amazing but basically it takes place in the beginning they, I believe they start off at church. I've, it wasn't too long since I watched this, so I'm just trying to remember. I believe they start off at, at church, or they're late to church, and the, the Simpsons show up because they're late. And the Reverend speaking, and he basically says, if there's anyone who wants to speak, speak now. And there's like a light that sh shines down to Grandpa, and he just says a lot of nonsense. He's like, twisted tail, a thousand eyes, trapped forever. And basically, those were some warnings, and then they take Grandpa away. And essentially, Homer eventually gets a pig, calls it Spider Pig. That's a twisted tail bit. Bart and Flanders get really close, because he's not that close to, with his father. And they eventually find a fish that has a thousand eyes. And and basically the entire, there's like a Springfield lake and it's like all polluted and stuff. No, that's how the film starts. They start with Green Day singing the intro 
off the polluted lake and then it goes to the church pit, which is quite cool. They got Green Day on the beginning of the Simpsons movie. So basically there was a whole petition to make sure no one dumps in the lake. They tried to make sure no one dumped in the lake because if they had any more pollution, that would destroy everything. And Homer doesn't hear this warning. He has his his pig crap silo that Marge asks him to dispose of properly. And as he goes to do it, he gets a phone call asking him, saying all the donuts are going away for free from a lot lads. So he takes his pig crap silo, he dumps it in the lake and leaves. The lake eventually gets too polluted and the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, have to do something. So they actually get a huge dome and they trap the entirety of Springfield in this dome so no one can escape. And basically the Simpsons are being attacked because of what Homer's done because he dumped all that in the lake. But eventually they escape from a sinkhole that Homer was supposed to fix, but he didn't. They had to escape, and they eventually move to Alaska after they get some winning some money um, from a challenge that Homer did on a motorcycle. Yep. Um, and then they go to Alaska, it's all, all good, and eventually the people of Springfield keep bashing the Jones constant, constant, constantly, and they start to make a dent, and the guy says to the president, the guy says to the president, we need to do something. So he makes him pick one of the four options, and he just says, not that one, not that one. And then eventually when he gets to option number four, he's like, as you wish. He takes it and he says, blow up Springfield. So they plan to blow up Springfield, but the Simpsons see it on the news, and they plan to go, and Homer's like, no, I want to go screw Springfield. They eventually all go without Homer. Homer goes, he sees a video of Marge and and stuff saying they've left and she says she's taped it over the wedding video that's how you know how serious the situation is Homer has to go find them he has an epiphany he has to go save Springfield he eventually goes to Springfield he gets up into the dome again and then he has to try and stop the bomb long story short because I feel like I've gone into too much detail about the Simpsons movie than I have either of the other films that I've done he eventually gets the bomb, it eventually gets chucked out, the whole glass shatters, they're all safe and everything is all hunky-dory. So honestly, this is a decent film, it's clearly got good reviews. It, like The Simpsons, you can't say much bad about it. Like, like I'm not really sure what more you want to say, because it's just a good film. If you've got an hour and a half and you like The Simpsons, just watch this film, you don't need to watch really any other episodes of The Simpsons to get this. You don't need to watch a whole hell of a lot of The Simpsons either to understand this movie. I think if you've seen anything of Simpsons, it's, it is just a decent movie for you to watch. Now, here comes the score. Now, I've been trying to think about this a lot because I want to try and score the movies fairly on how they are as a movie and not just based on my own personal opinions because obviously I'm really realistically I'm only going to review movies that I like until I get a chance to go to a cinema watch something new and if I don't like that film I can always critique it better if I need to but for now I think I'm just going to give this a solid 7 like honestly I do just really like this film it could be in the top 10 I know I said the Joker or Joker was number 10 potentially number 10 but this also might be there just because I'm a huge Simpsons fanboy like this this film was iconic to me at the time and the fact that I still have this DVD that I still have all these memories of, of this film it literally says on the back the best comedy this century I don't know if you saw that but that that's that's good so that's about it really uh, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this review I will be doing some more Simpsons release stuff soon, hopefully. But until then, I will see you guys for another video. Bye.